Hello everyone, bit of a different video today, no script for this one. This is just going to be a quick guide on how to complete the Perdition Lost Sector. Everyone knows that Curus of the Curus of the Falling Star is the new hotness right now. Double damage for your Thunder Crash, nice beefy overshield afterwards. Can only be gotten from Lost Sectors on days where they offer exotics in the chest slot. Uh, today, as of February 18th, the Legendary Lost Sector, or the Legend Lost Sector, is Perdition. 1300 exotic chest armor today's the day it has barrier and overload champions so we'll be using overload bow and anti-barrier sniper i could be using a lot better loadout than i am right now but the purpose of this is for it to be a guide that anybody can do with only world drop or otherwise easily acquirable gear uh, the only armor mods that really matter here are overload bow and anti-barrier sniper rifle uh, i just kind of have stuff on from another build Double Sniper Scavenger can be nice. And I am running Sunspots with Phoenix Cradle. Now the nice thing about Anti-Barrier Sniper is that you can hit things like Hydras through their shields. Which makes them a lot easier to deal with. Now, if you can, I would very much suggest having on, uh, here, let me pop a barricade. I would very much suggest, I actually don't have them on, but I would suggest having uh, either void or concussive dampeners. That is, void resists or concussive dampeners, I should say. Um, the hydras or chickens, whatever they're called, are quite brutal later on. As I said before, could be running a lot better gear. But the point is the point of this is that anyone can do it. Not even using a not even using an exotic weapon. God, I would really rather use something that isn't Temptation's Hook, but hey, that might be all you have. And I want to show that you don't need a God Roll, Fallen Guillotine, or anything like that to make this work. If you have a Fallen Guillotine, I would suggest using that over Temptation's Hook. An arsenic bite is plenty for all the void, or it, rather, it is plenty for all the arc shields. And it'd be nice to have something to break the void shields quicker. Wyverns, that's what they're called. These right here are the worst part of the lost sector. As you can notice. No crit spot from the front unless you stagger them, Temptations doesn't stagger them, and you need an aggressive sniper to stagger them uh, otherwise. And that would re require having succession, which maybe you don't have. So we're, we're going to be a bit slow to take care of them. If you're having issues with how much damage they deal, I would suggest tagging them with an overload, or with your overload bow. As you can see there, after you stagger one, it becomes a lot easier to kill. So I would suggest overloading them if you have issues with how much damage you're dealing. It does do more than stun champions, it also lowers enemy damage output. I don't know by how much. Other than that, just kill all the goblins. And same with the barrier hobgoblins here. We're going to overload it so it doesn't murder us. Forget that our bow isn't re- or our sniper isn't reloaded. This is a bit unfortunate. The two of them have teamed up. Uh, normally, one of the barrier hobgoblins will stay off to the left, and you can kind of uh, take them on one by one. It's a lot easier than what they're doing now, but hey, it, ha it happens sometimes. So 
again. You want to try and limit your sight lines to only one of them at a time. There we go. That's one down. Again, we're going to overload. He's going to barrier. Regen a bit. I just had to reload. That's a bit unfortunate. Alright. So we ran out of ammo there. Again, a bit unfortunate. But that's what we have a sword for. Now here's the plan. Uh, this Temptations hook has on guard, so I'm going to pull it out, do that. And we are just going to hammer soul the boss to death. Never mind. I didn't think that was going to kill me. Ideally that wouldn't happen to you. Now this gets a lot harder if you die during the boss. Well, it doesn't really get that much harder, it just gets slower. There we go, and as soon as the boss is dead, you can ignore everything else, assuming it doesn't kill you. But as soon as the boss is dead, your number one objective is just getting to the chest. You don't have to worry about anything else, so long as it's not going to uh, murder you. And there you go, no exotic this time. So, it's really not hard. Ignore the vacuum noise in the background, it may have come through while I was talking. Um, if... I was running an actually optimized loadout for this. There's the vacuum again. That's what I get for recording a video in the middle of the day. Uh, let's see if I pull things from collections. I would run Lament so I can insta-kill the boss. Um, a first in, last out. And then... Hmm, for kinetic... Yeah, I'd just run a bow. Uh, so in this case, probably just this uh, Archer's Tempo Swash Whispering Slab. This is just for overload. Uh, you don't have to use Anti-Barrier Sniper, obviously, you have Lament, but you might not have these things. So, there you go. That is a quick and fairly easy way to do a poster not posterity, a Perdition Lost Sector. Again, if you're doing this for Curus or any of the other new exotic chess pieces that have come out this season, where is it? If you're doing it for Curus, Omnioculus... Or Mantle of Battle Harmony. Uh, it has to be on a day where the Lost Sector is offering exotics in the chest armor slot, specifically. So, there you go. That is all. I have been Scooby Foo. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, join the Discord, and follow me on Twitter. Link in the description for both of those. Uh, promise to have the Dead Man's Tale video out soon. I'm, I'm working on it.